How's it going guys? I'm Theo Gileo, and in this video I've got some Windows 10 features that you probably had no idea that you could actually disable. There's eight of them. Some of these, I don't know why you would want to disable them, but it's interesting to know that you can. And some of these, down to personal preference, you may actually want to disable. So let's get into them. First up, we have the recycle bin. Plenty of times this has probably saved you where you delete a file, but then you realize you probably shouldn't have. It's in the recycle bin, it didn't actually get deleted, but you can actually disable. All you have to do is right click on the recycle bin on the desktop, then go to properties and then just select don't move files to the recycle bin or alternatively if you don't want to disable the recycle bin completely but you do just want to hide it from the desktop you can do that too by right click in the desktop and then go to personalize click themes and then desktop icon settings and then just uncheck where it says recycle bin or any other icons that are on by default that you don't want to show on the desktop. Next up, we have one that I personally like disabled, and that is Cortana. Now, depending on what version of Windows you have, whether it's home or pro, this is going to be a little bit different. If you have Windows 10 Pro, it's going to be the easiest. All you have to do is open up the group policy editor. You can search for that in the start menu and then go to computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows components, search, and then allow Cortana, and then you right click that, go to edit, and then just disable. If you don't have Pro, however, you're not out of luck. If you're on the latest Windows May 2020 update, it's a little bit easier to disable than before. All you have to do is go to settings, then apps, Cortana, and then go to advanced options and simply uncheck where it says runs at login and then it won't do that. Or also if you're on the May 2020 update, if you want to uninstall Cortana completely, you can do that, but you do have to use a certain PowerShell script, which is right here, but I'll also just put it in the description. You just copy and paste that into PowerShell and it will just uninstall Cortana. And if you want to reinstall it, you can install it again through the Microsoft Store. All right, next up, we have a feature that I always thought was really annoying. And that is when you search for something in the start menu, it would also search the internet for web results. And I don't know about you, but if I'm searching something in the start menu, I'm probably searching for something on the computer. I don't want to find something on the web and clutter up all the results. So you can disable it from doing that. And there's a couple ways to do this. This first one is only if you're on the latest May 2020 update again. So that is you have to go into the registry editor and then go to the following key. It's computer, H key current user, software, policies, Microsoft, Windows, Explorer, and I'll put that in the description. You can just copy and paste it in. And then you have to create a new D word key called disable search box suggestions and then set that to one. And theoretically that should remove Bing search results from the start menu. Now, if that for some reason didn't work or you're on an earlier update version of Windows, there is another one you can do. And that is go to the following key. It's H key current user, software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, search. And then here you need to create a new D word called Bing search enabled and set that to zero and also set Cortana consent to zero or create that key just like you did the other one if it's not there already. So either of those should work. I've actually been using the second one since even before the May 2020 update and it still works after that. So hopefully it should work either way. Okay, moving on, we have Internet Explorer. So yes, even though Microsoft Edge is now the default browser in Windows, Windows for some reason still includes usually Internet Explorer 11 for legacy purposes, I guess, but you can disable this. So what you have to do is just go into the start menu, search for turn Windows features on or off, and then in here, simply uncheck Internet Explorer 11, and then I guess you probably have to restart, and then it'll no longer be there. Hello? Really? Huh? Well, I'll let them know right now. Guys, I just got some very exciting news. Bill Gates has just called me and made a very special offer on this video. If you like this video within the next five seconds, you will have one extra gigabyte of RAM magically teleported into your Windows computer. I didn't even know this was possible. It's truly an outstanding opportunity. You better just do what he says. So anyway, the next feature we can talk about is Windows Media Player. So yeah, if you use VLC or another media player and you never use Windows Media Player, you can actually just delete it. So to do this, it's very similar like the last one. You go to the Turn Windows Features On and Off box, and then you simply go to Media Features, and then Windows Media Player, uncheck it there, restart, and then you won't have it anymore. Now, next up, we have the clock. Yes, the Windows clock. Technically, you're not disabling it, you're just kind of hiding it because obviously the computer has to have a clock to work, but all you have to do is right click the taskbar, go to taskbar settings, and then where it says turn system icons on or off, 
just uncheck clock and now it'll be hidden from the taskbar for whatever reason if you want to do that. All right, now moving on though, we have the recent files feature. This appears in a few different places like in the Windows Start menu perhaps or in the side of Explore. If you don't want it to show recent files and folders, you can do that or disable the feature completely. So first what you do is right click anywhere on the desktop, go to Personalize, then Start, and where it says show recently opened items in jump lists on start or the taskbar and uncheck that. However, even if you hide it, Windows will still store this information for recently viewed files in a folder, which is in the app data, Microsoft Windows recent items folder. So if you want to disable it completely, you do have to use the group policy editor. Now I believe this might only be available for Windows 10 Pro users, but if you do have that, what you do in the group policy editor, you go to user configuration, start menu and taskbar, and then enable do not keep history of recently opened documents. And now finally, we have one that I think most people are gonna wanna disable, and that is the sticky keys shortcut. You know how if you've ever pressed the shift key accidentally five times in a row too quickly, it brings up the sticky keys thing and asks you if you wanna turn that on? Well, you can disable it from doing that. All you have to do is go to the settings menu, then ease of access, keyboard and uncheck where it says allow the shortcut to start sticky keys and now no matter how many times you press the shift button it won't start that and annoy you. Also here's a random windows tip I thought I'd just throw in here at the end. Did you guys know that you can actually move the taskbar from the bottom to the side of the monitor? All you have to do is drag it over if the taskbar is unlocked. If you didn't know that, hey, maybe you actually prefer it over there for some reason. So yeah, let me know down in the comments if I missed any really good ones and also check down there in case other people mentioned ones that I did. Now, if you guys wanna keep watching, the next video I would recommend is one where I was doing an experiment of what happens if you delete the desktop.ini system file that you may have seen every once in a while and some other files like the hibernation file. What happens if you delete those? That's what I test out right there. You can just click on that right there. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.